Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with York So First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of the book of Luke in Luke 17, verse 1. And Jesus says, There will always be temptation to sin, but what sorrow awaits the one that does the tempting. And it goes on further to talk about just how sorrowful and it would be best if they were never born. And well, this is such an important truth for you and I today that, that, that first and foremost, there will always be, be temptation in this world, temptation to sin. And even though you're a Christian, yeah, there will be times where you still feel tempted. First and foremost, we have to understand that temptation to sin is not in of itself a sin. Even Jesus was tempted. Think about his 40 days in the wilderness when Satan came and tempted Jesus. So Jesus faced temptation. We know that Jesus never sinned. So it is not a temptation, or it's not a sin to be tempted. That is something that, that, that happens, and it's something that's based on our sinful nature. The sin is, is when you give in to that temptation, and the Bible says, see, the real sin is, is on the one who does the tempting. So Now we can say, well, that's Satan, well, that's the demons, yes, but think about your own life and think about those around you. Are there those around you who are trying to drag you down? Are there those around you who are tempting you to sin? I will say is as a Christian, there are some that I know in my life that would love to see me or catch me in sin because it would make them feel less guilty about themselves. It, it's much easier to bring us down to their level than to work hard to get up to the level that they see us as. And so the, the, the message for today is to guard against temptation and to understand that, that just because you're being tempted doesn't mean you're sinning. In fact, I will say that if you're being tempted, it's probably a testament that you are doing the right thing because Satan's worried about you and he is trying to tempt you to sin. Now, there are many people that when they feel tempted, they're like, oh, you know, I, I, I thought it, I might as well do it, or I've already failed because I'm tempted. And that's, that's something, again, that, that we need to, to not think about. We just because we are tempted doesn't mean that's sinning. In fact, temptation gives us a great chance to show our spiritual strength because when we overcome temptation, we can praise the Lord for it. Now understand something. The, the Bible makes it very clear that we are often given more than we could handle, that we ourselves, we have no power to overcome temptation. We have no power to to defeat sin apart from God. And so therefore, if you want to overcome temptation, it can only be done through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. And so lean on him, lean on God, feed feed it the spirit through the word of God and feed your spirit through reading the scriptures, renewing your mind, being at church. And I promise you that if you are, if you are walking in a relationship with God, if you are faithfully reading your word, if you are faithfully in the church, then you, then you do not even have to worry about temptation because you will be able to overcome it all through the power of God. God. So my message for you today is watch out for those who would tempt you to sin. Know that the temptation is always going to be around, as Jesus says, but know that we can overcome temptation through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.